So let's just pretend I'm not wearing the exact same outfit as the last video. Um, that's just because I'm filming this on the same day, so let's just forget that, move on from that. Hello everybody, how are we? So welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a haul for you guys. Um, so I'm not actually sure what I have named this video because it is 90% poo stuff. Um, then it's like 5% cow stuff, 2% other Disney stuff. I know those percentages don't really add up but um hey ho so yeah mainly Winnie the Pooh but there are some other bits in there. Yeah without further rambling let's get into the video. So I in July I went on holiday up north with my family we went to the Lake District and the Yorkshire Dales and um, when we were in the Yorkshire Dales we were about an hour away from Newcastle so obviously I had to go to the Metro Centre. I have been there before but years ago and I've heard so many good things about it that's an amazing shopping centre and it was the Primark was amazing Um I only have a small Primark in my area so to go to a big Primark it's always a treat so yeah I have, I have a good little haul here and um, so yeah I think I'll start off with the non-Disney things. So one of them I'm wearing right now, and it is this t-shirt. So I got this from New Look. It was $14.99, and it's the sleeves that sold it to me. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I don't usually shop in New Look. All my clothes are Primark. I'm a Primark girl. Um, so usually my t-shirts are like half this price. So this is a bit of a treat me kind of t-shirt, um, but I absolutely loved it. They had so many of these kind of puffy sleeve t-shirts. And if they have this design and like this style in my local store, I'm definitely gonna be going back because there's so many, so many designs. Um, but yeah, so cute. I feel like you can make a cute park out there of this. It's cute. Next, um, I collect cows everywhere I go. It's kind of weird. It's only uh, in the UK thing. So when I'm traveling around the UK, every time I go to a new area, I collect a cow from that area. So I didn't get any from the Yorkshire Dales, um, but I did get some stuff from the Lake District. So <laughs> let me show you that. The first thing I got was this little statue, and it's a Highland cow, which is my favorite type of cow. Um, wearing a normal cow onesie. Um, I don't, what type of cow is that? Is it a Frisian cow, I think? Um, but yeah, and look, he even has like a little zipper on the front of him. Um, I think he was 10 pounds, I think. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love him. He'll be going on my cow shelf, um, which yeah, I have one of those. Um, but he was too cute not to get. The other thing I got was this little placemat. <laughs> They also had a pillow version, but I already have a Highland Cow pillow and I don't know where else I'm going to put another one. Um, but it just says, um, Meadow Barnes hair salon now open, curly perm £35, cut and blow £18, trim only £5, new customers welcome. Um, and I just thought that was so funny and cute. So yeah, I'm either going to put that on, like, on my um, cow shop, but like at the back, just leaning against the wall. I'm gonna put it on the kitchen table to like put condiments on in the middle, but I'm not sure yet, but I thought that was just cute and funny. Then I picked up this, it was from the Metro Center. Can't remember what store it was. It was like, kind of like a little gifty store. Um, but they had hand gel, hand sanitizers with names on. And also what I really liked was this little clip, because I thought that'd be really handy. So then you can just clip it to the outside of your bag or to your jeans or you know, to a belt loop or something. And so it's easy accessible so you can keep it nearby you at all times um, when you're entering shops. And what I also thought was if you attach this to your, like, your trousers, you could attach your face mask to it as well when you're not wearing it, so then when you go to a store, you'd know where it is so you don't have to rummage for your bag, because obviously that is now the law in the UK. You have to wear your face mask when going into a shop. So I just thought that was really cute. So they unfortunately didn't have a Tory, so I had got a Victoria, but that is my real name. <laughs> Um, and it's got just little flowers and they all, um, mum and dad got one as well and all of them came in different colours so I don't know if the different colours are like a different scent or anything but I'll find out but I thought that was like really useful and practical and the last non-Disney thing I got was from Primark I can't go into Primark without either picking up some fake nails or fake eyelashes um, picked up some new fake nails and I got these ones they're just kind of like a tie-dye ombre effect but they just look so summery and so cool. Um, usually Primark has a good selection of like Disney fake nails, but they have, didn't have any. They didn't have any Disney lashes either, which they sometimes have. Um, 
but for 150 you can't go wrong with Primark nails. I've currently got these on which are also from Primark and so the rest on here is Disney stuff. I've got one non Winnie the Pooh item so I'll do that and then win the Pooh all the way out. So, the whole time when I was in the Lake District I saw no Disney stuff because you're in like the middle of nowhere in like small towns and it was just really nice to be out in the scenery like not in big built up cities um, but in my local town that I was staying in they had a sale section and um, I found this um, frame it just says Merry Christmas with Tinkerbell um, and it was a pound in the sale section so how could I leave it um, and as you guys know I have a Christmas shelf there so I was going to print off the picture of me and Donald from December um, there's a few really cute ones of me and him but there's one where like I have, I'm having to really bend down to like hug him but he's like even pulling me down further and it's just such a cute photo <laughs> and so I might put that in there and put it on my Christmas shelf and then my best friend will get annoyed every time she comes around because she doesn't like me keeping Christmas stuff out all year round <laughs> obviously when you're near to a Disney store you have to go in it um, so I picked up an eel. I've been after an eel for my collection for so long. And this is the medium plushy range that they do, which is $18.99. And I just fell in love with him, couldn't leave him. And what I love about eel plushies is his tail's Velcro. That's so cute. And he matches my ears. And um, so yeah, I couldn't leave eel behind and I got him a couple days before the end of holiday so then when we went out adventuring in local areas he came with me as you guys will have probably seen on instagram he came to some waterfalls with us um so yeah i got a new eel, eel pretty sure you guys all know that um primark have released a new winnie the pooh collection of home homeware and um, so obviously i had to get it um, so that's what the rest of this is um so they had two varieties of mugs this is the one i got it's got poo holes and flowers on both sides and it's like got a gold rim around the top and the bottom and the handle and then on the inside just says Winnie the Pooh and this was five pounds they had another mug as well um which was like a beehive and it said honey on the front which was the same size as this if not like a tad smaller but why I didn't get that one was because Disney Store have a very similar mug um which is bigger so I wanted to save and wait and get that one um and plus I didn't really need to buy two mugs at the same time. Um, so I got that mug. Then I picked up this water bottle, which again has the same design and it's just this Winnie the Pooh. And that's the same on the front and the back. Um, I'd seen this on groups in groups on Facebook, but what I didn't know about it was it's for hot and cold drinks. So it keeps hot drinks hot for 12 hours and cold drinks cold for 24 hours, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that would make a great bottle for like, that would make a, a great park bottle, just a great day out bottle. Um, I'm going on another holiday to the Peak District next month, so that would make a great bottle for that. I actually said before I went into Primark that I needed to pick up some new socks, but before we even got to the sock section, I saw these in the, they're in the pyjama section, um, but it was because they were with all the poo stuff, so I picked up some poo socks, and I've already taken it out of the packaging because I'm... Um, yeah so let me go through the different designs you get you get that one it's one of the poo and what i really like about this collection is the poo is spelt with two honey pots as the o's i just found that really cute got this one with poo on a balloon cute and then the final one poo but he's holding his tummy and it was $2.50 for a pack of three, so pretty good deal. What is a Primark home range without a throw? So this is the, the design on it, I'm not sure if you can see. It's just Pooh and Piglet with like some flowery designs in the background. That's just kind of the vibe of this collection. Pooh and flowers, I'm here for it. And it's super, super soft. I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. But it was six pounds. I've got the Mickey Mouse throw that they did a couple of years from Primark. Um, and for me, on my single bed, it's the perfect size. So if you have a double bed or bigger, it's not going to be very big on your bed because it is kind of like a single size. But you could always get two if you have a bigger bed. Um, but yeah, that was six pounds and it's so soft. I can't wait to get snuggled up in it and watch a movie like Christopher Robin when that comes out. Two things I picked up were 90s. They're just my preferred thing to sleep in. I just find them so comfy. So I got this one 
just this piglet on it and she's on a, it's on a balloon. It's all struggy. And I got this in a medium and it kind of look, it looks massive. Like when I got this home, I thought that's way too big. But then when I tried it on, it is, it's kind of a little bit oversized, but it's like a comfortable oversized, if you know what I mean. And I got another nighty. Again, this is in the same medium and it came out the exact same size, so a little oversized. Um, but it has poo on it. And again, he's on a balloon and it's the same style of writing where it has the little honey pots as the O's. I don't know why I find that so cute, I just do. Um, so yeah, those two. And then the final thing that I got was the Winnie the Pooh duvet cover and it also came with a pillowcase, but I've already put that on my bed. So let me just show you that. This is the Winnie the Pooh duvet cover and matching pillowcase. And um, it's just so cute, isn't it? And <laughs> look at that. I'm just so happy with this. Um, and I'll just show you on the inside of it. It's got a flowery design, which is also the same on the back of the pillow, um, which is the same kind of pattern on all of this collection. So that is everything I picked up from my little trip out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love the Winnie the Pooh Primark collection. So there's still a few bits from the collection I didn't pick up, but it, it, Newcastle just didn't have it. So if I see about in my local stores, I'm probably gonna get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, pop that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and ding that notification bell because no one really knows what it does and i'll see you guys next time bye